Namaste. Hare Krishna. In this particular video, I will be talking about Yoga of Meditation, which is essentially Chapter 6 of Bhagavad Gita. And as you all may know, Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Lord Krishna more than 5000 years back. And it is considered to be the most profound book or scripture on yoga. And there is one whole chapter dedicated to yoga meditation, that's chapter 6. Because meditation sometimes becomes very confusing, a lot of people say a lot of things. So this particular video will give you a very clear and a beautiful explanation of what is the definition of yoga, of meditation and what are the prerequisites that's required, what one should, how one should prepare to practice yoga meditation. In number three, it will also tell you all the techniques that you have to follow. Number four, I'm going to talk about what are the outcomes because you will be spending some amount of time and energy in practicing. So what you could expect from the practice. And number five, I will touch on a little bit uh, what are the difficulties one faces while trying to practice meditation. Okay, so let's start with the definition as spoken by the Lord uh, in chapter. So the verse 18 of chapter 6 gives a very clear and precise definition of yoga meditation. So it says, Yada binitam chittam atmaneva basthite nispruha sarva kame bhyo yuktaiti uchyate tada. So just one verse explains beautifully uh, the definition of yoga. So what it says essentially in English is when by practice of meditation this restless mind, the mind which is constantly churning and it's restless all the time thinking about various things, starts slowing down and settles in our spiritual heart. That time yoga is considered to be in state of perfection. So our restless mind slowly, 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 slowly by practice of meditation settle down in our spiritual heart. So when I talk about spiritual heart, I talk about that center of heart, that deeper center of the heart from where the feeling of I am comes. So when somebody calls your name, you respond that I am here or you refer to yourself as I am. That feeling of I am comes from deep within your heart. And that particular feeling comes from your spiritual heart. So when by practice of meditation, the restless mind slowly, slowly settles down and stays still in the spiritual heart, the yoga of meditation is perfected. So that's the definition of yoga of meditation. Let's try to now understand what is the prerequisite. You will say, can everybody practice or only certain type of people can practice a certain lifestyle is required for practicing. Let's try to understand it. Everybody can practice it. There is no discrimination. Well, let's hear from the scripture itself. So it says in verse 17 of chapter 6, it says, Yukta hara viharasya, yukta karmasya chetasya, yukta chetasya karmasu, yukta swapna vabodhasya, yogi bhavati dukkha. So all that it says is anybody who is leading a life of moderation, moderation in food, moderation in entertainment, moderation in sleep, moderation in work, is pre-qualified to practice meditation. So if you are if you are having a habit of working long hours, or you sleep too much, or you party too much, or you binge, have drinks, you have to change your lifestyle a little bit. So you have to if you're aspiring to practice meditation, all that you have to do is regulate your lifestyle so that it's a life of moderation. Everything is done in moderation. So you're perfectly pre-qualified or eligible to practice meditation. Now, by knowing that you understand the definition, you understand who can, who is qualified. Now let's try to understand the technique. This is the critical part. And you will be surprised to know that the technique is so simple. And Lord provides the technique in just three verses. Here the master says, just in three verses, all the techniques that you need to know to practice meditation. And first I'll explain in Sanskrit and then I'll, I'll tell it in English. Sankalpa pravavan kamas tyaktva sarvan asesata 
मनसा चैव इंद्रिय ग्रामे बिनी मया सामत शन शन परमेत धीतया बुद्धि गृहत्वा आत्मसंस्था मन कृत्वा ना कशिद विचित जदा जदा निश्चर मन चंचल स्थिर तदा तदा नियम एक आत्मने वासम नायत सो दीज आर थ्री वर्सेस वर्स ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ भगवद गीता चैप्टर सिक्स एक्सप्लेन्स द एंटायर टेक्निक Now, what does it really says is very simple. All that it says that your mind is constantly restless, and it runs after sensory objects. So all that you have to do is withdraw your mind from the sensory objects and all thoughts, and try to focus it on the spiritual heart, from where the feeling of I am comes. That's all you have to do. And if the mind runs away to worldly objects, it starts thinking about home, anything else, your work, other stuff. spring it back to your spiritual heart from where the feeling of i am comes so the practice is very simple try to focus your mind on your spiritual heart from where the i am comes because mind by nature is restless is not going to stay there when you start practicing it might stay there for a few seconds then it will run away you just try to bring it back so the mind going away and you bringing it back is the practice so every time mind runs away to various things your work your family your home entertainment various kinds of stuff just bring it back so that's the practice so practice is very simple the technique is very simple all that is required is practice now you will say that i'll spend all this time and energy in practicing what exactly i'm going to get out of it what the outcome is going to be and lord provides very beautiful explanation what the outcome what are you going to experience when you start practicing yoga for a period of time so it gives in three three verses and three verses gives you the milestones what you are going to experience and and the verses are 27 28 and 29 of chapter 6 prasanta manasam hienam yoginam sukham uttamam upaiti santa rajasam brahma bhutam makarmasam junjanam evam sabat sadatmanam योगी विगत कर्मश सुखेन ब्रह्म संस्पर्शम अत्यंत सुखम अश्नुते सर्वभूतस्तात्मनम सर्वभूता चात्म इख्यते जोगजुक्ता समदर्शन सो इट प्रोवाइड्स द माइल स्टोन दट वन इज गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस एज वन प्रैक्टिस मेडिटेशन सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वन एक्सपीरियंस इज अ सेंस ऑफ पीस एज द माइंड स्लोज डाउन the restless nature of the mind will start going away and mind will start experiencing a level of peace and with increasing practice there will be sense of joy feeling of joy will start arising from the heart and this joy will turn into bliss and ultimately there will be samadhi or enlightenment whatever you call it so this is the outcome you got experience first peace your mind generally most of the people experience a lot of restlessness in their mind and that produces anxiety depression stress all that is going to go away you start experiencing peace which is the most important thing and then happiness great sense of joy in your heart then bliss ultimately it's samadhi enlightenment oneness nirvana anything you can call it now i will say that if, it, if this is so simple then why very few people practice it or very people attend to samadhi if it is that simple the difficulty is really by the nature of the mind mind's basic nature is restlessness it moves all the time it's very stubborn it's restless it will focus on various worldly object but when it comes to focusing on your heart center it will always run away so lord in chapter 6 uh, verse 35 explains the difficulty that one faces and he says असंसय महाबाह मन दुर्निग्रह चल अभ्यास तो कौनते ही वैरागिन वैरागिन च ग्राहित सो ऑल ही सेज दैट दिस माइंड बेसिक नेचर इज रेस्टलेस एंड इट इज हार्ड टू कंट्रोल इट बट बाय प्रैक्टिस इट कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड सो ऑल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज प्रैक्टिस जस्ट लाइक एनीथिंग एल्स initially when you start practicing maybe in your heart center it'll stay for few 3 seconds it'll run away then you bring it back 
with practice it will stay there for 5 seconds at a time then 10 seconds then 15 20 seconds so it will it'll start settling in your heart longer and longer period of time and why the heart center is so important in one of the verses of Bhagavad Gita verse 61 of chapter 18 Lord says Iswara Sarva Bhutanam Hruddhese Arjuna Tishthati He says the Lord or Atman or Brahman resides in the heart, spiritual heart of every being. So that is why heart center is very important for the meditators. So the focus has to be always at the heart center where you get the feeling of I am and just focusing on that. And that is all. So we have spoken about the definition. We spoke about the prerequisites, what's required for practicing. All that is required is moderation and lifestyle. Number three, we learned the techniques that what you have to practice is sincerely you have to focus your mind on your spiritual heart, on the feeling of I am. And number four, we spoke about the outcomes. What are the outcomes is going to be? You are going to start experiencing peace, joy, bliss, ultimately samadhi. And we also discussed why it is difficult to practice. What are the difficulties we face? The difficulty is essentially because of the nature of the mind, which by nature is restless, but it can be controlled through practice. So that was all for this particular video. I hope anyone who is aspiring to practice meditation or practicing meditation, it will be helpful. You don't have to go to anywhere, any place. You don't have to pay anyone. You can do it at your home. Just find a comfortable place in your home, which is quiet and sit down in a comfortable place, whether it's a chair or any place, sit down comfortably and spend some time practicing. The most important thing is practice. You don't have to go to anybody and start spending a lot of money trying to pay for some teacher. This is the most profound book and these are the teachings. If you want to read the book, you can read it yourself. It's just one chapter, 45 verses. You can read the entire chapter yourself. Many of the English verses you can find. So that's all I have to say. Hopefully it's going to help you. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Hare Krishna.